Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario with the help of trigger and test class. Let's understand the scenario. So based on opportunity stage, upon opportunity creation or updation, we need to set the description field as opportunity is closed lost or opportunity is closed one or opportunity is open. So for example, if you are creating any opportunity, so on opportunity creation, you need to populate some value in the stage field because it is required. So if it is closed one, then description should be having opportunities closed one. If it is closed loss, then description will be having opportunities closed loss as text. If stays field is other than closed one and closed lost. So description should be having opportunity is open. Then if you open any existing opportunity where stays is populated with some value and you change that stays field value and according to the change, again, you need to update the description having one of these three values. So for this requirement, like it, it is working for both insert and update. So we need to implement a common method and that will be working for both the requirements. So I need to implement a trigger, then trigger handler, which will be having the business logic and the test class for code coverage. So let's jump to developer console. So in my org, I already have opportunity trigger implemented. So I'm just going to open that. So for one of the scenario, I implemented that. So here you can see before insert and after insert events are available. And uh, these two methods, update description and populate latest opportunity amount are available. Now, uh, the requirement, uh, as per the requirement, uh, this method will also be called in uh, before insert. So what we need to do, Just copy paste and update description based on stage, right? And we need to call this method for update operation as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just copying it, pasting it. And here I'm writing is update, then inside is before, we need to call this method update description based on stage. And in case of update along with trigger dot new, we need to pass trigger dot old map as well. So trigger dot new will be having the new state of the record and the same record will also be available in uh, old map. And that will be having the old value of that field. So for example, if you are updating stays from prospecting to closed one, so prospecting you can find an old map and uh, close one you can find in trigger.new and uh, same method we are calling from before insert so as a second parameter we need to pass null here now i'm going to open its trigger handler where i'm going to implement the code so public static void then i'm copying the method name so here, list of opportunity, OPP list and map of ID comma, opportunity, old map, right? So here in this method, I'm going to implement the logic. So what we need to do, we need to iterate a loop on this OPP list. Right, so OPP list will be having all the opportunities that we will be inserting or updating. Now here, we need to check whether we inserted the opportunity or we updated the opportunity. How we will identify that? So if we updated the opportunity, in that case, this second parameter will be null. It means if old map is null, then opportunity was inserted. So we can directly check it like this. If old map is null, 
इट मीन्स इंसर्ट ऑपरेशन हैपन राइट और इफ अपॉर्चुनिटी इज नल देन वी नीड टू परफॉर्म सम लॉजिक इफ ओल्ड मैप इज नॉट नल देन अपडेट हैपन एंड वी नीड टू चेक whether on update that stays field is updated or not if stays field is updated then only we need to execute the if condition or the otherwise not so here i am writing opp dot stays name not equals to old map dot get opp dot id dot stays name so this old map is a map so if you want to get the value of map so you need to use get method and you need to pass the key so key is opp id which we are receiving from here and uh, its stage will be fetched so the same record will be available in the opp list through trigger dot new and it will be available in old map as well so here new value of the stage will be available and here old value of the stage will be available so if old map is null then directly if block will be executed uh, assuming that record is inserted if old map is not null it means record is not inserted it is updated and in case if it is updated so we need to check whether stays is updated or any other field is updated so if stays is updated so this uh, old and new value will be mismatched then in that case it will be true otherwise it will be false and if it is true then we need to write opp dot stays double equals to closed one if it is if stays is closed one so opp dot description equals to opportunity is closed one else if opp dot stays name double equals to close lost then we can write opp dot description equals to opportunity is closed lost else if it is if opportunity stays is not closed one not closed lost so it is other than closed one and closed lost so we can write description equals to opportunity is open right so this way the complete code is implemented here so this code will work for both insert and update operation that we need to check so code is being saved so i just saved trigger handler as well as i am now saving the trigger part if i jump here now i am going to create new opportunity so here i am populating stage as qualification so it is not closed one not closed lost so here you will see the description will be opportunity is open you see opportunity is open so insert is working fine now if i change it to closed one so i am updating the stage so update will work and here you can see opportunity is closed one so this way both insert and update operations are working fine now we need to implement its test class so that we can check whether through code uh, it it is working fine or not and uh, uh, like for deployment we need to have proper code coverage as well so for that i am going to implement its test class so first we will be testing the insert part and then we will be testing the update part and we need to annotate it with at the rate test test now here you can see some of the records are already uh, created in the other method so i am going to copy this piece now let's understand this so how we created the data so first opportunity list is created then uh, five times loop is iterating which is creating bulk record 
So always remember whenever you implement test class, so data should be created in bulk so that uh, your code can be tested for bulk operation. So here, opportunity name stays, close date, amount, everything is populated and then opportunity is added into list. So five opportunities will be created and will be added into the list. Then after creation of those opportunities, we need to insert them so that they will be available in the database. Now, after this operation, one more thing, we are using test.starttest, stop test so that separate methods of test class will be having separate governor limits, right? So this is the use of uh, using test.start test and test.stop test. Now, after that, I'm just going to query updated opportunity list. So I'm selecting description from opportunity where ID equals to OPP list of zero dot ID. So here in this OPP list, five opportunities are there. So I'm just querying first one. And if its description is updated, so it means others are also updated. So we can just check it with system dot assert equals. So expected will be opportunities open and action. So updated opportunity list of zero dot description. So this way, this assert equals is implemented. So if after the query description is updated and having opportunities open, so it means this uh, code will work fine. Now we need to implement the update part. So I'm just copying it. And uh, I pasted the code. So it will be for update operation. So at the time of insert opportunity stages prospecting, then we inserted. And now I'm implementing a loop. So here I'm writing OPP list and then OPP dot stays name equals to closed one and then update OPP list. So at the time of insert stays was prospecting, then I updated it to closed one. So here this time we need to verify in assert equal like opportunity is closed one. So if both are matching, it means update is working fine. So I'm just saving this code. So there was typo, I'm just saving it again. Now I'm going to run the test. So it is failing. Let's check what is failing. Okay, so update description test. So this any other method is failing and uh, yeah. Okay, so any other method is failing where assert is implemented. So basically what is happening now, we have two methods which are updating description. So uh, we can just comment it out. So uh, they may they may not be scenarios like uh, uh, both the methods will be updating the same field together, right? So if I comment it out and again run the test. Okay, update description test. So basically what is happening on insert opportunity 
description is updated. So we, what we can do, like in this scenario, like uh, this piece is already implemented. We implemented a new scenario and we just want to run our two test methods. So what you can do, just click here, new run, select your test class and select the particular method that you want to test. So I just want to test these two methods. So I'm just running them. So now you can see both the methods are passed, right? So this way uh, you can just test your implemented method, but anyhow, if you work as a developer and uh, existing code is also breaking, so you just need to uh, do some work around so that uh, that existing code should also work. So here, what we need to do, uh, we, we just need to modify this assert. So here we need to write opportunity is open. So in, in this case, it will be working fine because at the end uh, description will be uh, opportunity is open. So now if I run the whole test class, so it will pass. So here you can see all the methods are passing. So this time all four methods executed and all are passing. So this way, uh, I hope you, you understood like how I implemented the scenario in front of you. So, uh, implement this in your org so that you also can understand the implementation.